I've never seen a company as stubborn as WWE. I've never seen a company so willing to undercut its own product in order to petulantly try to prove their point. I have never seen a company go so far out of their way in any genre of anything out there in the world. I've never seen a company be so willing to go against the grain and so consistently want to spit in the face of their audience like the WWE. A Braun Strowman heel turn? A heel turn? For Braun Strowman? You can't have anything nice anymore when it comes to WWE. Especially if they don't want it to be that way. This is the height of stupidity. This is the height of sheer arrogance. This is the height of we're going to do it our way with our people regardless of what the hell our paying customers actually say. Vince McMahon, what the hell is wrong with you, you senile old goat? So you take Braun Strowman. As he grows and he's developing as a performer, something happens. He really starts to get over as a babyface. Now, a lot of that, yes, did definitely have to do with the fact that he was positioned at a good time, facing off against Roman Reigns, that led to a massive face turn, and he was doing some cool-ass stuff, period. But even after that, he managed to stay over, he continued to grow his performance abilities, he continued to grow his character, and he became a top babyface for WWE. And then you get to Money in the Bank, and Braun Strowman wins the Money in the Bank contract, which is supposed to be that cementing of this guy potentially being one of those next dudes, if not that next dude. And you're thinking the WWE believes in Braun because he's a big muscular powerhouse type of guy. This is clearly the type of dude Vince loves to push. This is clearly the type of dude that a Vince McMahon could get behind, and you've seen that play out. But you're thinking for a company that lacks in not just clearly over baby faces, but more importantly, as I've talked about for years, the types of clearly over baby faces that Vince McMahon and Vince McMahon alone can clearly get behind. Here's fucking Braun Strowman. The vast majority of the audience is digging Braun Strowman's shtick, his act, his gimmick, his character, his work, all of that. The company can get behind him. It's like ding dong, dumb dicks. He's a face. Don't fight it. Keep it that way. But lo and behold, no, 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 no. We just can't have anything nice as wrestling fans. This past Monday night on Raw, there's Braun Strowman turning heel, aligning with Drew McIntyre, and <laughs> fuck Dolph Ziggler to attack Roman Reigns. What the actual F is going on here? And it's going to come down to this very simply. If you have to go to these lengths to try and protect Roman Reigns, if you have to go to these type of lengths to ensure, similar to what you did for so many years with Cena, that nobody ever gets to that spot or surpasses Roman Reigns, even when a guy clearly has surpassed him in the fans' minds like Braun Strowman has with Roman Reigns, similar to, let's say, a CM Punk with John Cena. If you have to go to these lengths then what does that say about your top guy? If you have to go to these extremes and make these type of ridiculously dumb dick decisions, then maybe just maybe you've got the wrong guy. It's one thing you take Becky Lynch in that whole situation, and the farce of that freaking is, the crowd really likes her. They can actually relate to her story. They can actually buy into why she would have been pissed at her best friend. Here's a way to make her a baby face, maybe a slightly different baby face, but God damn it, we'll take a baby face at this point in time of any type of quality, and instead the WWE wants to go against the grain and turn a freaking heel, because we can't have the fans boo Charlotte, even though there are infinitely more reasons to hate fucking Charlotte, both real and imagined. So now they take Braun Strowman, who's pretty organically gotten that 
nicely over as a baby face, even when the company was initially trying to push him as a heel, they eventually stopped fighting against that when the fans were fighting against them. They went with the fans, and they kind of made a star out of the dude to a certain level, to only now you've gotten to that point where you're on the precipice, the cost of a cementing this guy as a top dude and doing it in the right way, and you turn him freaking heel? You're crazy, Vince! What the hell is wrong with you? And you gotta go to these lengths to potentially undercut and sabotage guys for no real damn reason. Now, mind you, last week when Braun comes out and mans up face to face with Roman, here comes the Hounds of Justice, the freaking shield, circling like sharks around the damn ring, acting like the villains and damn self. Now, this week we follow that up logically because, again, it's WWE fail logic and hashtag WWE ruins everything, you cocksuckers. They sit there and turn Braun Strowman heel. The hell would you do that for? What the hell sense does that make? If you have to protect this guy that much, then he's not that dude. Get over it. And his cucking fuckboy fans need to get over it too. I don't hate the dude. I think he sometimes gets... Unfair criticism. There are massive similarities between the push of Cena and him. That is true. Oh, it's damn true. But when you've got a guy like Braun, why in the hell would you sabotage him to try and protect the baby face that people don't want a face for? Why can't you have two over baby faces? Or this baby face that the fans kind of don't embrace, but you push it that way anyways. And then the real baby face that everybody feels like they can get behind. This is dumb and it's stupid. This is another example that WWE says, screw you fans, you can't have anything nice. It's ridiculous.